curious. <sighs> Packed all your things? Make sure you brought the onigiri and rice cakes your mother prepared. Don't worry. I have them all. They're going to last me days. Take care of yourselves while I'm out. And make sure you remind mom to take her medicine on time. If running the store gets a bit too much, take some time off and wait for me to return. Oh, Yoi Mia. Your mother and I got so worried when we heard that you were going so far abroad. We've never left the country. So we don't know how outlanders might view us Inazumans, or if they'd even be willing to speak to us. Oh, relax. Outlanders are friendly and warm. Look at Toma from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from Mondstadt, but everyone thinks he's a top-tier guy. A mop-tier? What mop? Oh! Do you mean the broken one at home? I just fixed it today, actually. No! I said top, not mop! <sighs> you know, Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> we haven't heard this kind of friendly banter in a while, huh? Oh, hey you two! It's been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going on a trip soon. Many things have changed. Lots of outlanders have come to Inazuma, and lots of Inazumans have gone out as well. You two have been adventuring all over to that, so you might not be able to understand. But for us, this is a long-awaited chance to go out and fulfill our dreams. That's right, the Sakoku Decree is gone. Ah, oh, I remember you two. You're Yoimiya's friends, yes? Word of your incredible accomplishments has spread throughout Inazuma. My daughter's a big fan of yours. She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Who's never dreamed of becoming a hero? Aw, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. The quiet life suits me better. But if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? All right. Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. Well, I am gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, no. We aren't here to do business or anything. We just happen to be passing by. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat! In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush, anyway. Sure! So, where are you planning to go? No clue. Huh? <laughs> I say that, but I do have a travel goal. To see Tibet's grandest meteor shower. But I don't know when or where it'll happen. So, I figured I can search while I travel. That's it? No details? Nothing? Uh, not right now. Since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Naginaharas were inspired to create new fireworks after watching such a meteor shower. Dad says that inspiration is a combination of what you see and what you know. Different people can see the same thing, but have different thoughts. Inazuma today is completely different from how it was in the past. If I can see this meteor shower, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with a new kind of firework. I know, right? Of course, my main reason is that I won't go and look outside Inazuma. <laughs> no need to 
to be shy about it. You gotta play hard when you get the chance. You know, you're right, Paimon. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we first met? <laughs> Paimon loves being friends with you since you say such nice things. Sumeru. I've heard of it. It has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, and a massive desert. Yep, and everyone there is really smart, so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. Really? But won't research people make fun of me or something if I ask them about a legend? We won't know if something's real or not unless we ask. Don't worry, we got solid connections in there. Well, he does anyway. Wouldn't I be taking up your time, though? I doubt this was in your schedule. Exactly! Relax, Yoimiya. You've helped us plenty of times before. <laughs> All right. Then I accept your offer. Let's have some fun at Sumeru. Dad! You can have more peace of mind now that I'm traveling with them, right? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes. Your mother and I will be much more at ease. Remember, you two also need to take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okay, let's head to Rito and catch a boat there.
now. So, this is Sumeru? That tree's huge! Is the port built on top of it? And this place is amazing! It's way bigger than Rito's port. There are also a lot more stores here. Oh, there's more cool stuff for you to see. Don't you worry! This place is awesome! I had heard people describe it, but nothing beats seeing a place for yourself. If I hadn't seen the port with my own eyes, I could never have imagined such a place. So, the school you were talking about, the Academia, is it here? Nope, we have to head north from here and follow the river to reach Sumeru City. Sumeru City, huh? I guess it's even more impressive than here? Even bigger? Oh, I wonder if it's as grand as Sanganomiya Shrine. Whatever the case, why don't we go to Sumeru City? Oh, I'm so excited that I don't even know what I should be doing anymore. The important thing about going on a trip is to enjoy yourself. You don't have to think so hard. I'm just worried that if we don't get down to business soon, we'll take up too much of your time. <laughs> but if you insist, then let's look around. Welcome to Akara Crabs. Feel free to have a look around. Wow, what are these? They're so cute! This is our current bestseller, the Aranara Carving. Their designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst children, so they're very popular with them. Miss, are you from Inazuma? Well, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. Oh, I know about Aranara. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. No wonder the kids like them. Oh, they're all so pretty. Let me take a better look. I'm a new Yoimiya would like this kind of thing. But even she might have a hard time seeing a real Aranara. Yeah, sorry, Yoimiya. But we need to keep our promise to the Aranara. That's sad. Paimon doesn't think Yoimiya would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary creatures. I think I'll get this one. Ooh, that one. And the other two that you showed me earlier. Uh, you're buying that many? Yep. I'm going to give them out to Psyche and the others. They're going to love them. Oh, and these carvings can also be used as prizes and matches against the Arataki gang. They'd also look great lined up by the window. Think about it. You wake up, and the first thing you see are these adorable critters. Wouldn't they brighten up your entire day? <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick, too. Hmm, for some reason... Paimon thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. Hello, Nara Paimon. My name is Aramiya. <laughs> is that how they talk? Hope I remember correctly. <laughs> that was really good. Wow, great memory. We only talked about r and r that one time on the boat. That's because they're so interesting. I'm pretty good at remembering those kinds of things. Of course. Thank you for your patronage. You all are an entertaining bunch. I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. Ah, <sighs> that's about it for Fort Ormos. Next up is Sumeru City. All right, let's get to it.
happy to oblige. <laughs> Wow, this market is even busier than the one in Port Ormos. This is Treasure Street. Up from here is the Academia. Oh, and in that tree trunk is the Grand Bazaar. They're both pretty special places. I just saw a group of people come down, and they were all wearing the same outfit. Is that the Academia's uniform? That's right. They also wear hats with different designs, depending on which darshan they're in. For example, we'll be looking for someone from Watawahist. They know a lot about stars and stuff. Does this mean that you need uniforms like those to get in and out of the Academia? Uh, Paimon doesn't think so. Um, won't we stick out if we go in like this? So even you get shy, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. Let's pretend you're an academia student, hard at work. Then in comes a bunch of outlanders in strange clothes who gawk and run around everywhere. Oh, Paimon kinda gets what you mean. I don't think we have to be too self-conscious, but it's still something to keep in mind. Why don't we look around here first? I've been wanting to see the Zubair Theater anyway. As for the Academia, let's go once I get myself a set of Sumeru-style clothes. Alright, but Paimon thinks you're overthinking it. Neil might have some good recommendations. <laughs> Sounds good! If we can watch a performance of hers while we're at it, that'd be even better. All right, I'll be looking around here. 
I'm leaving the meteor shower inquiry to you two. Thanks a lot. No problem. We'll be right back. from Wakalahis, but now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. Paimon thinks Alhatham might know something, but Paimon doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, why don't we just ask around? Maybe we'll run into someone from Wakalahis. Looks like you two are in the pickle. Why not consult someone who always tells you everything she knows? <gasps> Nahida! <sighs> Why are you here? I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. We have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Hmm, I see. Uh, your face says that it's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Eh, you have a point. According to current Ritalahist research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times and bless all who witness them. So, you mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed. What now? There has to be something we can do. Are you two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower, but if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh, that would be great, Nahida! Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. 
Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and Mia all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, blow this. I'll tell the Arunara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Huh. Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest, when we first met Hapasia. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm-hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. True. Let's discuss it on the way. So what we need to do is to make Yoimiya believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Hmm... If Paimon wanted to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be... Yes, exactly! We'll say we're trying to figure these two things out, but we'll actually be bringing Yoimiya around to see the sights and enjoy local food! Oh, well... Easier said than done. We can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. Oh, it'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm, this is gonna be hard. Oh, that's right. Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story... Whoa, that sounds great! All right then, we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. And then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> This is shaping up to be the perfect plot. After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever. As long as we get Yoimiya to enter the dream at night, things will be fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You should know Paimon pretty well by now. Oh, all right, all right, let's go. Yoimiya's probably sick of waiting for us. So much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute. Wait. This is for you. This is an R and R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's all right. I didn't do much, really. It's fine. Take it. Come on. Just look at its big happy smile. You can display it at home, or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day, and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking, and you love smiling too. I just don't understand why you're so... positive. 
I've never met anyone like you before. Sorry, I'm not very good with words. But since you say so, I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Oh, great timing, you two. Who was that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abeen. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed and we made our way back here. There were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. It's hard navigating through them all. No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that'll bring up some unhappy memories. But if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. At first, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child. And asked all the same things everyone else did. About rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. Eh, gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did! Big time! You're in luck, Yoimiya! You'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru! Really? <laughs> That's great! If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? They respond to wishes? Huh, I've never heard that one before. So it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> In that case, I was born ready, don't you worry! Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, she's adding her own spin onto this. If that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is, <laughs> it's a secret for now. Yeah! And we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. More places to see? All right, let's go!
talking about? Amazing! It's huge! Well, wait. It's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax! It's completely still, and it's been ages! That's true. It's green from all the overgrowth on it. All right, let's go. <laughs> now, this will make for quite the story. Have you seen your sister yet? Yep, but she said that she'd meet us at the end of our journey. And then she left. I see. It seems she has her own things to worry about. But it's alright. At least you were able to talk. 
How did she look? Was she doing well? Had she changed in any way? Well, according to him, nothing's really changed. He's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. Here. What a great view! I just want to shout at the top of my lungs! Yeah! And even though we might not be viewing the meteor shower from here, it's a good place to practice! Oops! I was having too much fun and almost forgot about that! Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So, they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa! That many? That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories. And these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes. Because wishes carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with to join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower, but it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. You and me, uh... Hmm, well said. And here Paimon thought you needed practice. Huh? Uh, that was fine? You both understand what I'm trying to say? Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side. But there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If I didn't take the step, it's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Yoimiya. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Yep, 
and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when Avin was showing me around. He seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. Uh, that's true. Let's go! <laughs> I wish we could fly over. What are we gonna do? If we really ask the blacksmith, he's gonna give us funny looks for sure! <sighs> You're right. Paimon will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paimon felt bad about keeping Yoimiya in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. Yep, that's why we're doing all this.
You want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? Hmm. Huh. That pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, a purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? Sorry for the trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill and create up a mock-up device for you? That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help! No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. Maybe we can just pick a random one. It's not like we're really gonna use it anyway. <sighs> no, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. <sighs> Why are you so interested all of a sudden? Yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain, while others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower! Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? Exactly! We're chasing down a legend, after all. What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Hey, excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay. Don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well, but I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything, probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. 
but I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. <sighs> it's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor shower search on hold. We're coming with you! Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone. I suggest dropping in on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. Got it. Thanks for your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping. <laughs>